Ramble's climate study was important in that it took the approach uh, that was developed in Copenhagen and applied it to New York City by simply asking where would it flood um, and where would we want water to go in a, in a flooding event. Um, Copenhagen has been able to really reinvent the landscape and um, seeing that and how simple that is, uh, I was very interested to bring that back to New York City um, and now we're beginning to ask um, some of the same questions here. So the city of Copenhagen uh, prepared this uh, cloudburst management plan and based on that uh, Ramble have um, prepared some detailed master plans leading up to more than 200 implementation projects. Ramble has not only provided the technical expertise but also the more cost-benefit expertise into these master plans. Livability for a city like Copenhagen is all about the good life, the life quality of the city. It's about having good places for the citizens to live, good transportation system, but also the social fabric, the recreational opportunities for them to have a good life. The concept of St. Anne Square is, is pretty basic. It's a fairly white street with a green strip in the middle that we've been able to lower. We've widened the sidewalks, uh, narrowed the driving lanes, and we have now a very green and very livable space in the center that also provides flood protection. So the Cloudburst Resiliency Planning Study picked an area of New York City um, in Southeast Queens and specifically goes through the methodology that was applied in Copenhagen to try to develop a New York City specific cloudburst plan. It turns out that many of the concerns, many of the thoughts that people are having when trying to do things differently are universal. So it's not so different whether you plan in Copenhagen or in New York, you actually tend to have a similar um, approach.